Test your knowledge of graphic design and follow along to see if I do in fact improve these designs with my knowledge and also experience. This is the before and after graphic design series here at Satori Graphics. But first, let's have a quick short warm up exercise. So here is a logo symbol, or as some people might say, a logo mark. Now it's a generic logo I downloaded from Envato, and I want you to choose one of four outcomes after we take a look at the background of a possible brand that it represents. Now, if I tell you that the logo mark belongs to a real estate agency who mainly caters to upper middle class clients, what sort of logo type outcomes do you think would fit this design? So this real estate agency is an established firm within their industry and they really do mean a business and they're serious. So bearing all of those things in mind, which of these four designs do you think would best suit this kind of brand and more importantly, why? Well, let's take the far right design first. Does a bright pinky red color fit into the real estate business from a color psychology stance? No, not really. The logo type is okay, but the title case style with that capital E would come across as maybe too informal. The design to the left is even more informal with a fully lowercase logo type setup. And then on the far left, the decorative logo type kind of conflicts with the robust nature of the logo symbol. However, the serif solution on the chosen design matches really well with the fact that the brand is high-end, well-established and serious. If you pair that with a sans serif font, then we do have a winner. Yes, it's somewhat subjective, but the aim of this warm up exercise was to get you thinking about design choices and why they are made. So here is a design I grabbed from Freepik, and I think it's trying to sell Italian cuisine. But what do you see wrong with this design and what would you change? For me personally, there is a lot wrong here actually, and that starts with the typography layout and the font choices. And I have no clue what this 20% off layout is all about. The design as a whole needs a lot of work in my honest opinion. Now I wanted to make a fresh and a clean design as that is often the best way to market food to people. They often want cleanliness and simplicity when it comes to their food. So I wanted to give the typography a lot of white space to breathe and to work with, and I started with a nice clean sans serif typeface. The heading on the original is so bad and so confusing, or it is to me anyway. And you will see at the end that I do change the size of my typography, as it's pretty much way too small here. But yeah, continuing, I added a small graphic to represent the Italian flag. And this isn't just to make this section look interesting, it is going to be a good way to spread colors out across my design as you will soon see. So next we have the order now and the website typography in a neat section here and that just makes sense to me as a designer. And then of course we continue to neaten the typography up below. The 20% off typography needs to stand out in a good way and so I've added that here with this graphic in green. Again, this isn't finished at this point, but if I set the actual finished design next to the original, you can see the difference. The Italian flag graphic has allowed me to spread red and green to other areas of my design in color harmony. I like the clean and simple layout for my design, and I do think it solved a lot of problems we saw in the original. This is my personal style of design though, but whichever way you look at it, I do think it's an improvement. So here's another quick challenge or a quick exercise for you with this design here. It's another download from Envato, and apart from a few changes to some wording, this is exactly how I downloaded it. That is apart from color. I want you to try and visualize this design with color being used. But let's take a look into the background of the brand and gain some insight. The brand is exclusive and high end. The ingredients are high quality and they want to express luxury. With all of those things in mind, as a designer who wants to express these emotions and sentiments to the viewer, what colors would you use? Again, there isn't one precise correct answer. There could be a few that would work, but there are for sure many wrong answers. So the two main colors would be black and also gold, mixed with some white as well. But yeah, black has connotations of elegance, being fashionable, sophisticated, and also sleek. And then of course, gold is all about expense, luxury, and its rarity makes it exclusive. Always think about what the brand is trying to express to their audience, and then what that audience will want to feel. I keep driving this home in my videos because it is so important. 
But yeah, here's a pretty basic design I've downloaded once again. And using your eye for design, what would you change? For me, the typography is just one big mess. At the very top, it's confusing and almost unreadable. But then again, below, it's just difficult to read as well with that central alignment. If we take a look at the upper typography, we can see how the leading or micro by space between each line is so, so thin. And I'm referring to the body text here. The main lettering has some okay micro white space, but I don't like the font pairing that has been used. So the first thing I set out to do was to use a fashionable and modern sans serif font, but to add in different colors simply to create contrast and intrigue. An argument could be made for using the original serif font, as that could possibly fit, but again it's pretty subjective and there are many different routes you could go down. Increasing the micro white space really makes a big difference, and if you held this magazine in your hand physically, you would be able to read this pretty easily. Same can be applied to the text in the bottom section. I've also experimented with a different layout of the leaf graphics with this kind of symmetrical approach. And we could also change things up with that as well. But yeah, this is me trying to keep the same style of this design, but making small changes that actually lead to a big difference. And it's your chance to enter into a new competition where I choose three winners and I will then post their social media or portfolios in a later video. The design is free to download from Freepik and you can find it in the description box below. You have one week exactly from the making of this video to redesign the design and then send it back to me at the relevant email address listed down below. I do look forward to seeing your designs, but until next time guys, do design your future today. Peace. Oh,